Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another eventing vlog. It is Sunday morning and today, well, I think last vlog, I started it off by saying it was going to be the hottest day of the year so far. Zazie's just finishing, she's finished. Zazie's just finishing her breakfast and surprise, surprise, she's probably not going to settle. Probably going to go to the loo again. Yes. Um, yeah, I started off last event vlog being like, it's gonna be really, really hot. It's the hottest day of the year. It's meant to be 32 degrees, which it was, it was pretty hot. But luckily, like I said, there was a good breeze, which was kind of the saving grace of the day. Well, this weekend and the beginning of next week, the UK is in a massive heat wave. Um, anybody from the UK will know that. We are kind of living in it right now. But today is meant to be kind of the hottest day and then the next two days, Monday and Tuesday, are meant to be horrendous. Today is meant to get to about 31. <laughs> nice pizzazz, weeing in the background. Today is meant to get to about 31, I think, at peak hotness, which is around four o'clock this afternoon, I think, three or four. Um, luckily today, we've actually got earlier times than usual. Normally, we event in the afternoon, but um, <laughs> you're holding your head too high to be in the shots as. But today, dressage is at 11 and then show jumping's at 1.30 or 1 and cross country's at 2. So we're just going to play it by ear. It's obviously not that hot now. It's still quite early. Um, it's at Barbary, I don't think I said. And Barbary is up on the hill. Um, so again, we're just really hoping that there'll be a quite a good breeze. They had their BE international event there over the last week and weekend and apparently it wasn't as bad there as it was all saying on the weather. <laughs> no, Zazie, I think you'd rather have a DVD. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna play it by ear. Like obviously if it, we get there and it's absolutely boiling, we're not gonna run her because there's no point. Like she's a black horse and she suffers in the heat anyway, as you know. Are you gonna settle? Um, so yeah, today we are going to Barbary to potentially compete in the 100 Cotswold Cup there. Um, so I need to crack on and get her plaited up and catch up with you in a bit, hey? I just thought I'd filmed her whole loading and was sorting through her plats and it wasn't even recording so we've just loaded her up and I was just saying that her plats aren't the best because her mane needs a pull um, but they're fine and that I hadn't done her forelock plat because she rubs her head. I'd recorded her rubbing her head but I actually hadn't and that we're going to see if there's time to do a quick tail plat when we get there. Yes, time to get on the road. and we are just walking the course and there's actually a very good breeze. Hopefully you'll be able to hear me turn around. It's very, very lovely. So we're just coming towards fence three now and obviously I'm not till a lot later, but I'm really just hoping that this breeze carries on because it will make it more enjoyable. The ground is lovely. So they've coped very well with the conditions. So keep on walking the course.
as he's all ready to go for dressage, tail part's been done and we'll be heading down in a sec. So I haven't got my dressage sheet back yet but I thought I'd do a voiceover anyway of this test just to kind of give you my thoughts whilst doing it. So here we go down the centre line. I've done this test quite a few times now. They kind of alternate between two hundred tests for this series. So I've done this one a few times. Turn left. Left rain is our worst rain, so I always hate it when you turn left, but I didn't think it was too bad. And then here we're going into a 15 metre circle. I think it was a little bit small to kind of cut that turn. But I think the second half was a better shape, and I was thinking, oh, she's actually staying like quite nice and forward. Um, compared to what she's normally like, I'm not having to really struggle and keep her going. And then this is the half 10 metre circles with the walk over centre line. I thought she did that quite nicely, a good turn back onto the right rein and then we do our 15 metre circle again here. I think she looks pretty good, like for pizzazz. Also the other thing you can't see about this arena, which I'll speak a bit later on, you can kind of see it really slopes away as you go towards the judge's car and where you can see in this closest arena the grass is completely dead which makes it really really slippy for them. So that's what we struggled with. Now I think I'm walking at A. I mean you can't really see much. And now I'm going into my free walk. This I was disappointed with. She could have stretched down a lot more. I don't know whether I should have let her down. I remember really encouraging her to move down, but she didn't. And then here we come, as we come over the centre line, we're doing a half circle. And as you come over the centre line, you pick up the medium. I think we'll probably get the comment for that walk that it there was no stretch, you know, which is fair enough. And then between, um, oh yes, here I'm getting her back and it's a bit head wobbly. Now we do a trot transition, not too bad. And then in this corner, we have to do a canter transition. Again, I cut the corner, but didn't think the transition itself was too bad. And then we canter all the way down. And this was tricky because it was really slippy. And Zazie's trying to back herself up um, for the downhill and then here we do a 20 meter circle which again I didn't think it was too bad I thought she was forward but obviously she's a bit hollow there coming down here was just so slippy so you can see her back legs she's kind of trying to balance herself and then it just throws us off rhythm a bit with the contact trot just before that marker because then we go into our half 10 meter loops and I'd say she's starting to look a little bit long here but she's still quite active. Um, I'm not having to do massive training club kicks, which I did have to do in my last test. There, she, yeah, the contact's not great. And then we trot up here, and then in this corner we have to do a transition to canter. And you can just see she's just not too happy about going forward on this surface, um, which made it quite tricky to ride her. So we canter down to the judge and do another 20 metre circle. Once, once we were coming uphill here, it was slightly better. But as soon as we had to turn back to the downhill, she's just trying to back herself up and balance herself. Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see what the judge says, because like I said, I haven't seen it, uh, got my sheet back yet. And then we have to trot at the marker, see if I do. Pretty good lost the contact a bit now and then down the center line I think we were pretty straight and had a good halt we have to hold to X so hopefully we get good marks for that because yep pretty good halt dressage is all done Sounds actually looks quite sleepy now but <laughs> in the dressage she was actually all right she wasn't too lazy she, I would say she was less lazy than at Waverton um, but the arena was on such a slope, that was kind of the main issue. It was quite slippy, so going down towards the judge was very much downhill, which was a bit of a shame, but she was definitely nice and forward. Well, we'll see what the judge thinks. Um, obviously it wasn't amazing, but we didn't tire ourselves out, so that's a plus. And um, we've just gone down to show jumping. So far, we are going to show jump because there's still a really nice breeze and um, we can show jump early because there has been quite a few withdrawals, so that's good. But at the moment, she's had a tack off and she's going to chill because they're still running. They're still on the 90 class, so can't go down yet. But yeah, um, dressage could have been a lot worse, I think.
So here's my show jumping from a different angle. I thought it'd be quite interesting to see because you can just see the jumps a bit differently. Um, and again, I thought in this round, I'll give you again my thoughts. Uh, try and remember what I was thinking as I came around. Here I thought I need to get a good canter before I start. So I did a circle to get a better canter before we start. And I thought we had an okay warm up, feeling confident came round to the first and we got a little bit deep but she was okay and then here I just let her bowl down a bit too much and maybe if I play this again in slow motion we can just see it a bit more. I should have sat up here. We got a bit deep to the first one so we were going to be fine with the distance but I just kind of let her bowl down to it and here she just goes really flat and makes no effort. So thanks for that one Pizzazz. But it made me get my act together. I held the outside rein and we had a much better shot at that one. And I thought, right, we just need to keep going forward, but I need to hold her. We got deep there and I think from here I rode slightly better. We got a really good shot to that one. And coming around the corners now, I just really had her in my outside rein. It's so frustrating because <laughs> um, if she'd made a little bit more effort, we it would have been fine. You know, we weren't way off. We weren't. We didn't have an awful stride, but she's just not the most careful, so I have to really set her up for them well. This one we jumped really nicely, had a really good shot. And again, this oxer was great. We always jump oxers better than uprights. I much prefer an oxer. Oh no, that was an upright. Okay, <laughs> we jumped that upright well. Um, I thought that was an upright, I don't know. There we got a bit deep, but because I had her, it was okay. And then coming around to the last one stride, again... We struggled a bit, it was quite a short one, but because I held her together, it was okay. But you can see I thought we were deep because I looked back to check it was still up.
not too sure. Country all done. We are all finished. Zazie was absolutely amazing out there because it was quite warm, but she actually coped very, very well. We have cooled her all off. Um, you will have seen our shoe jumping too. We had one down, um, but I actually felt felt like I rode a lot better than Waverton. So I am pleased and mainly just happy to be home safe. We will get her loaded up and then I will do a proper debrief when I know my dressage score and everything, either on the way back or when we get home. We're all back, safe and sound. Zazie is back in her stable having some haylage and I doubt she'll want to come out to say hello. Are you going to come out and say hi? No. Um, but yeah, it's been a good day of venting. Um, obviously, there's things that you can improve on every time. Um, Dressage, like I said earlier, it could have gone worse. She was actually pretty forward for her, considering how hot it was. I mean, there was a really good breeze, which definitely helped. And for some reason, she was just thinking a bit more forward today, which was nice. And then in the show jumping, like you saw, are you coming to say hi? Um, we had a pole. We had fence two down, which was quite annoying. But from Waverton, what I took away is that I was holding her far too much during the show jumping. I was getting really tense and just holding her up to the jumps and we were getting there on no stride, with no impulsion and she was having to really like try over them. I was getting her way too deep. So that's what I wanted to work on today, um, letting her just move and travel. And I definitely did that and I probably let her travel a bit too boldly down to fence two and it was quite a gappy upright running down the hill. So she just kind of, made no effort and jumped a bit flat. So kind of my fault, but at least it was only one pole, not two, an improvement from last time. And the rest of the course, I felt like we jumped a lot better. It flowed well. And yeah, we got those nice forward jumping strides, which is what I wanted to try and get. So yeah, I mean, she is known as a bit of a four fault queen, aren't you? Yes, four fault itis is pretty much what we do at most events but never mind. And then, yeah, the breeze, it was pretty good today. The breeze was nice and strong. So we did decide to run cross country. Again, just be sensible. The ground, they'd done a really good job. It was nice and cushiony. The grass coverage was really good. So yeah, we did run and she had a blast. She had a great time. We went clear inside the time and I actually did have to steady up a bit after the last like the penult penultimate jump, we were way up on time. I hadn't chased her at all round. I just kind of let her go at her own pace. And I was thinking, yeah, Zazie, we need to slow down a bit. Otherwise we're gonna get speeding penalties. Um, so yeah, she definitely enjoyed herself. And they were again, really good. They had massive water bowsers at the finish where I could, I just jumped off and chucked all this water over her. Um, she was very good. She just kind of stood still because I was still by myself at that point. Um, so yeah, finished the day on a high. She, she really does love her cross country. It's her favorite phase, isn't it Zaz? So yeah, unfortunately that pole, I think it pushed us down a bit. I'm just gonna have a drink. Um, I think there's one more person that they're putting the scores up. But yeah, we're in 11th at the moment, which is like the most frustrating place to finish out eventing. Um, not only like normally you get rosettes to 10th, but for this um, eventing with the Cotswold Cup, you get points if you're in the top 10 and the points go towards qualifying for the champs, which is obviously the end goal. Hopefully you can hear me over this munching here. Oh, and my dressage score, I don't think I've said yet. We got 36.5, so not a complete disaster. I would really try quite like to try and get another sub 35 this season, hey? Um, because I do always want to try and get 35 or below with her, but 36.5, we'll take it. It wasn't the worst in our section, I don't think. I haven't checked, but I don't think it was the worst. Um, it was quite a range of section marks. So yeah, 36.5, one pole, Chico's about to knock the stool over. Are you causing carnage? I've just picked that up. Um, 36.5, one pole, clear cross country on a very hot day and quite an OAP. And yeah, it was just good to be out. And we had a good time, didn't we? It doesn't really matter about the result. It's just getting out there and having fun. So hopefully you enjoyed this Barbary eventing vlog and I don't know when this will be up, but next Saturday, so in six days, 
we are going to Oxstalls for another event. So it's kind of a busy couple of weeks or week. So yeah, hopefully we will have the same great day out next Saturday at Oxstalls. So I will see you then.